We'll just have a quick run through of WP Vivid Backup Plugin, uh, which is a wonderful backup plugin to be able to back up your complete sites um, and store them off-site um, to bring them back in case of any disaster like your, if your site gets hacked. While I allow and use the all-in-one uh, WP Migration Plugin to do all kinds of migrations and backups, the backups are manual. Um, so you have to remember to go and back up once in a while. That's the only limitation with this uh, plugin. And uh, this is the free version of all-in-one WP migration. That said, uh, let's have a look at how we can use WP Vivid to do a, a backup and send our backups to Amazon um, S3 uh, backup storage. You can also store your backups locally. So let's have a look at WP Vivid in this uh, activity. First thing, uh, I am in the plugin screen, plugin screen, so I've signed into the site and I am in the plugins section. So I'm, I'm going to add new, to add a new plugin. And we're going to search for WP Vivid. It's called WP Vivid Backup Plugin. It has 80,000 installations and a five-star rating, which is pretty good. And it was updated as recently as two months ago, so which is pretty good. So I'm going to install that. And let's activate. And straight away, you can see um, we can back them up manually and send uh, backups to the local site. Um, and you can also set up the backups not to be deleted. So that's another option for you. That said, um, I prefer to uh, create a schedule. So, But before I do that, um, I want to set up some remote storage. So there are a couple of options here when you're scheduling your backups. Um, you can either send them to a local storage, in which case your website will get full rather quickly. The better option is to um, choose and pay for remote st storage that can be quite cheap and that could be Google Drive um, or Dropbox or Microsoft OneDrive. In this case I'm going to quickly show you how I do this with uh, Amazon S3 buckets. Um, now you need to have your bucket enabled and ready. In my case I already back up all my sites to uh, Amazon S3. So all I'm going to do is create a quickly create a folder for this particular client. I'm just going to copy the name of the URL uh, to manage this and just going to create a folder with just the name of the just the name of the just name it so that you remember what it is and that's it because all the rules have already been set up uh, again for the permissions I'll uh, provide a link uh, to the site uh, where I have this uh, information handy for you on how to set Amazon S3 buckets up. Um, it costs a few cents a month, so literally very cheap. Um, the next thing to do is come back to WP Vivid, um, just give it an, a, a unique name, I guess. So that's what I'm just pasted it. It's giving us the unique name. Um, the the custom path here is, um, we'll come back to this in a second. You need to keep, keep copies of your uh, access keys. I'm going to uh, hide that for a second for you while I copy paste these keys um, and passwords and secret key. Let's just copy paste the secret key and uh, the bucket name. In my case, the bucket is, is um, called my backups, BJ website backups. So I'm going to escape that. And the custom path, because I've created a folder within the bucket for each client, so I can actually analyze which one it is. The name of this folder is uh, covertrady.com.e. So I'm going to put that in here. Right, and I'm setting that as a default remote storage and it's just a standard and infrequent access and server side inscription. I'm also going to quickly test and add just to ensure that it's uh, going to add fine. And I can see that, yep, that's been successfully added as a remote storage option. So now when I go to either backup and restore manually or when I go to schedule, I can set uh, backup schedule. I typically like to set this to a monthly schedule um, where I schedule um, the database and the file.